test. They say the city fell short on plans to create a commission that would keep a close watch on policies within the city. News Channel 8's Lenny Supal has more. Yeah, good evening. I have a copy of the resolution right here. It's two pages long and it spells out exactly how the city would address six different issues that have been a source of discrimination throughout Tampa's history. The NAACP grilling city council today. They say that their inaction on this commission could cast a shadow on other decisions they make down the road. Tonight, Tampa City Council under scrutiny three years after passing the racial reconciliation resolution, a promised plan that has gone nowhere. The city of Tampa has given African Americans a bad check. A check has come back marked insufficient funds. Yvette Lewis is the president of the NAACP in Hillsborough County, voicing her concerns and frustrations on today's city council meeting. The city of Tampa needs to be proactive instead of reactive. The resolution apologized to African American for slavery, Jim Crow law, unequal education, and uh, the unbalance of African Americans being treated in the criminal justice system. These are some of the issues that continue to plague us right now to this day. The resolution charged council with forming a commission to address racial inequities, but the NAACP is still waiting because that commission was never formed. To move this forward, someone on the council will need to lead the effort. Part of the problem, the man who had been leading the charge is no longer on the council. Orlando Goods is not here. Well, someone is here. Someone needs to pick up this mantle and run with it. So city council says that they were unaware that no action had been made on this commission. And there are some encouraging signs that this commission will be created because council has a meeting with the NAACP next week. Reporting live in Tampa, Lenny Supal 8 on your side.